Jessman. I'm Miss Mindy, and I am the owner of Mindy's Jessman School of Classical Dance. And today I am going to be teaching you some ballet. And the wonderful thing about ballet is that it's for everyone. People think that it's only for, you know, tall, skinny ballerinas in New York City, but that is not true. You can do ballet at any age, and it's something that you can enjoy for a lifetime. I've been doing it since I was three. That's a very long time ago. So <laughs> we're gonna start in first position, which if you have done ballet before, you probably have a little bit more turnout, but you wanna make sure that when you bend your knees, do a plie, which is what we're gonna start with, that your knees are over your toes. You don't wanna roll. We don't wanna take any chances on hurting your knees. So if that means you need to bring your first position into a smaller turnout, that is totally fine. So just know your own body and do what works for you. So we're gonna just start with our hands on our hips and I'm gonna do the legs first and then we'll add the arms. So all you're gonna do is demi-plie and stretch your knees. Demi-plie and stretch your knees. Then we're gonna releve, which means to rise. So we're gonna go up and down, up and down. So the arms for that are going to be this. We're gonna go demi-plie and stretch, demi-plie and stretch and we're going to put our hands on our hips rise and lower rise and lower all right we're going to take our arms out this is the most difficult step you will do today it is a grand plie which means big plie so we're going to do demi plie we're going to go all the way down and we're going to come back up and take our arms out and then we're going to take a big bend forward which is called port bra so we're going to go all the way over and we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna to go to second position, put our hands back on our hips. Same thing in second. Demi plie, and stretch. Demi plie, and stretch. Releve, and lower. Releve, and lower. We're gonna do grand plie. Heels stay on the floor this time. And open, and we're gonna reach our right arm go over, arms come together, and we're gonna go back to first position. We're gonna repeat all of that in first. We're gonna go to second again. The second time in second position, our port de bras is gonna go the opposite direction. Okay? So now we're gonna do all that with the music. Here we go. Just starting in first position. And take your arms and hands on your hips. And plie, and stretch, plie, and stretch, releve, and lower, releve, and lower, grand plie, one, and forward, and coming up, second position, and plie, and stretch. Heel stay on the floor. Reach your right arm. Reach. And back to first position. And plie. And stretch. Plie. And stretch. Releve. And low. Releve. Grand plie. And one. And two. Three. And four. Four ruffle. And coming up. Second position. earlier all the ballet words are in French because the very first ballet school was started in France so you can take ballet class anywhere in the world and all the terminology is the same um, and since ballet is so old a lot of the ballet terminology carries over into other forms of dance whether it be you know modern or jazz or even tap like a chasse is a chasse which is a gallop <laughs> in any kind of dance so 
you know, you learn, learn a little tiny bit of French when you take ballet class too. <laughs> so now we're going to do a tendu, and tendu means to stretch, okay? Plie means to bend, tendu means to stretch. So again, we're going to start with our hands on our hips and learn the feet first. So you're going to do a tendu to the front. And everything in ballet is turned out, so we don't want our feet to be this way, we want to be this way. So you're going to do tendu to the front, come back to first position, try very hard not to bend your knees. Tendu again, close in first, and we're going to do a plie, okay? So it's going to look like this, tendu and close, tendu, plie. Then we're going to do to the back, back, close, straight, back, plie. One more time to the side, and close, side, plie. Then we're going to do the other foot, tendu, and close, tendu, plie, to the side, and close. Tendu, plie, to the back, close, back, plie, and side, close, side, plie. Now, we're going to try to do our arms sort of like we did for the plies. So we're going to do tendu, and close, tendu, plie, to the side, and close, side, plie, to the back, close. Back, plie, to the side, close, side, plie. Okay, so let's try with the music. Find that first position. You wanna have all your toes on the floor. Stand up straight, shoulders back and down. Ready, here we go. Tendu, and close. Tendu, plie, and side, and close. Side, plie, arms up to the back, and close. Back, plie, to the side, and close. Side, plie, other foot, front, and close. Front, plie, to the side, and close. Side, plie, arms up, and back. keep thinking of things I need to say about ballet. <laughs> There's so much. Um, all of the exercises that we are doing, if you were taking just a regular beginning ballet class, you would be doing all of these things holding on to a bar. So we're just doing them in the center because not everyone has a ballet bar at home. But if you need to hold on to a chair, you can definitely do that. Um, but each exercise is like building blocks. Plies that we did, use your whole body. Then we start with our feet. So the tendus, you know, you're going through your feet, warming up your feet. Next thing is degage. Degage is just the next building block after tendu. It means to disengage. It's just your foot is going to come off the floor at the end of the tendu. So we're going to do the exact same pattern that we just did with the tendu. So you're going to do one without a plie, one with a plie. The only difference is this time, since our legs are coming off the floor, we're just going to keep our hands on our hips. So it's going to look like this. You're going to do degage, close, degage, plie, degage, close, degage, plie. Same thing to the back. And close, plie, and close, plie. So if you look closely as you do your degage, you go through your tendu to get there on the way out and on the way in. So as you do that, try really um, try hard to make sure you maintain that connection with the floor until the very end. Okay, so let's try that much with the music. Ready, here you go. And degage and close. Degage plie. Degage and close. Degage plie. To the back. And straight.
to get some water. So now we're back. We've done plies, which mean to bend. We've done tendus, which mean to stretch. We have done degage, which means disengage. We've also done releve, which means to rise. Now, next is rond de jambe, all right? And rond de jambe means circle of the leg. So we are literally gonna draw a circle with our foot on the floor. We are only gonna do rond de jambe on de or, which means to the outside. There is another direction, it's called en de don, and it comes from the back to the front. It's a little more difficult to do when you're not holding on to anything. So for, for um, a beginner class, we typically just teach en de or to start. So it's gonna look like this. Again, starting in first position, hands just on our hips for now. So we're gonna do tendu to the front, then you're gonna slide that foot to the side, then you're gonna slide it all the way around to the back and lift up really tall and close in first position. Okay, so that is rond de jambe en de or. We are gonna do that three times. So front and side, back, close in first. Front, side, back, close in first. Front, side, back, close in first. And we're gonna use this port bras that we did earlier. Reach your arm and open, hands back on your hips. Same thing on the other foot. So we'll do this three times on the left, and then we'll repeat the port de bras to the other side, okay? All right, remember that as you go around, you wanna to try to maintain this turnout in this leg. So you don't wanna let your leg roll in. You just wanna kinda of keep it all in the same position as you take it all the way around to the back. Here we go, let's try. Standing up straight, roll your shoulders back and down. Ready, and front. Side, back, close. Front, side, back, close. One more time. Front, side, back, and close. Reach your right arm. are designed they're just like the next level up that's to warm up your hip sockets because in ballet you know we work turned out the whole time so it's very important you know to warm up your hips there because you're using them constantly through the whole class so that brings us to the last exercise that we are going to do today which is called a grand bat ma and a grand bat ma grand just like grand plie earlier means big and bat ma means kick so it's literally a big kick. Now, like I said before regarding turnout, you are gonna do what your body is capable of doing. Some people have really flexible legs and can kick really high. Other people, not much higher than our degage, and that's fine. Most important thing is that you keep your knees straight and you keep your heel of your supporting leg on the floor, okay? So we're gonna hold our arms out for balance for this, and we're gonna start in our tendu position then we're gonna lift our leg as high as you can without bending your knees. So you're gonna lift, tendu, and close. Three times, tendu, lift, tendu, close, tendu, lift, tendu, close. And we're gonna repeat the plie from the beginning, plie, and stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and do the other foot to the front. Tendu, lift, tendu, close, tendu, lift, Tendu, close. Tendu, grand batma. Tendu, close. Plie, and stretch. We're gonna repeat to the side. When you go to the side, remember keep that knee on the top. Lift, tendu, close. Three times, plie, stretch. Then the other way, tendu, lift, tendu, close. Three times, plie, and stretch. All right, let's do it. Grand batmas are fun. I love them. <laughs> Five, six, ready, and tondi, ground bomb, tondi, and close. Tondi, ground bomb, tondi, close. Last time, tondi, ground bomb, tondi, close. Last time, Tony.
just for review before I let you go, today you learned how to do plies, tendus, degages, rond de jambe, and grand batma, which is a lot. <laughs> I hope you had fun. I surely enjoyed sharing with you my love for ballet. Um, and I hope to teach you again soon. Thank you so much.